Connie and Louie, your love for one another is without bounds and will only grow with each day you spend in companionship. Your bond exudes a true and compelling energy that can be felt by those around you. Today marks a new chapter in your lives as you step forward together as husband and wife. I, alongside your family and friends here today, wish you a lifetime of happiness, adventure, and an infinite series of moments you wish never to end. As the younger sister, Connie is very good at copying her big sister. I decided I wanted to go to Brown. She decided she wanted to go to Brown. The only thing she did not copy me in is choosing to date a co-resident in the class below her applying into Retina. We met Connie in uh, September 2020. Um, the first time I saw her, immediately we just fell in love with her. Um, She's so bright, kind, pretty, uh, just everything we can imagine. I make fun of my sister, but she's probably the kindest, most loving, and most selfless person I know. We shared 30 years of birthday cakes, an entire wardrobe, a cell phone, a car, and most of our DNA. Beyond video games, Lewis is known as a guy who picks up like a lot of odd hobbies. And most recently, he's starting a career as a ophthalmology TikToker. So maybe 10 years ago, these videos were all taken like by a phone, leaned against a stack of books that sometimes fall over while recording. But now, the videos are all taken by Connie, who <laughs> can be heard laughing in the background. I'm really happy that Lewis has someone who can support him through all his corny endeavors, in the same way that he has supported me throughout me growing up. He really did care, not just about my sister, but about other people as well. He really was a great host and also just an honest, humble, smart, and nice person. The first impression I get, uh, Louis is so good. He plays piano so well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he plays ping pong so well too. Which brings me to how Louis entered our lives. I could tell Connie liked him a lot. One of the first things she said was, Louis was a great host of parties. She could tell, because he would go out of his way to replenish the popcorn bowl for everyone if they came over to watch a movie. Oh, hello. Look how clean. <laughs> oh, you look good. Look okay? Yeah. You look good. Wow. Nice. Nice dress. Yeah. <laughs> nice earrings. Nice hair. Louis and uh, Connie signed their marriage certificate on February the 22nd, 2022. And I got the text message from Connie, not from Louis. So, <laughs> and Louis said, from now on, Connie and me are one. So any message from Connie is from me. Thank you for being here today to celebrate the marriage of Connie and Louie. Each of you here holds an important place in the lives of our bride and groom. Your presence this evening to honor and witness the tremendous love these two share for one another is a testament to a greater love that connects us all. Dear Connie, um, I feel like the luckiest man in the world standing here next to you. You have brought so much joy into my life and, the, and into the lives of both my families and friends here today. These past few years have been the best years of my life. Louis, when I first met you, wearing your favorite Pikachu t-shirt and gray swishy ping pong pants, <laughs> I don't think the first thought that crossed my mind was, someday I'm going to marry this man. <laughs> There were plenty of early signs that we were destined to become more than friends. 
I've always loved your hugs. Maybe it's your wingspan. <laughs> Even when we were just friends, I wanted each hug to last just a few seconds longer. I love that you are relentlessly positive and that no matter how stressful times are, you always find a reason to be happy. You have the biggest heart. You always know how to make me laugh. And you always put me and the people around you before yourself. I love that you are brave and that you charge forward, unafraid to fail. I love that you always see the big picture, never sweating the small things. And I love that you are kind, always generous with your attention and love. One day we will grow wrinkly and gray, but I promise you my love for you will only grow stronger. I promise to always be there for you no matter what life throws at us, to cherish all our moments together, to support your ambitions and endeavors. I love that you accept me for who I am, someone who writes their vows the day before the wedding. <laughs> Compared to you, I have a lot to work on, but I promise to you that I will. I will work to be a better listener, to better anticipate your needs, and to love and honor you all the days of my life. You make me feel like a princess every day. Today my prince has come, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I know that I live now, not only just for me, but for you, for our family, and for our future together. While some of life's mysteries may never be answered, after finding you, I am certain that we were meant to be together. It's a day we have been waiting for a long time. <laughs> yeah, partially because uh, I think uh, I have spent so many years taking care of Connie, I think it's time to pass it to somebody else. <laughs> I, I still feel like the happiest, the luckiest mother. With this ring? With this, this ring. ring. Ivy Webb. I be wed and pledge you my love and, and pledge you my, my love, love now and forever now, now and, and forever. forever by the authority vested in me by the state of California <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife you may kiss the bride <laughs> ladies and gentlemen I present to you our newlywed Connie and Louie Raise a toast to Lewis and Connie, that'd be awesome. Hands up in the air, hands up, move our bodies, hands up, we don't care.